just a little bit too much. Well, we made the first cut. Now we can flip that thing over and put the flatter side down and uh, see if it'll cut better. We couldn't uh, use the log clamp simply because the log is just so dead burnt crooked that uh, I had to just let it set up there and support it with the brick over here like you see on the bottom at one end. Now that we've got a flat surface, we can flip it over and maybe we can cut it, and maybe lock it down. We just had to take an easy pass on that uh, there's nothing holding that log there but the weight of it so let's progress let me get the video cranked up for you so you see how it's cutting
well. Got a few cuts here. I want to show you what this old mosquito is. Now mesquite wood may not be the prettiest wood to a lot of people out there. There we go out there. We go. I kind of change my camera settings a little bit to really reflect a little bit more of what the wood looks like. Yeah, it's kind of a peachy center. Got a lot of grain patterns in there. Really pretty nice. Now let me get it flipped over. Let's see if I can show you the other side of it. It's dirty on that side, Rex. I haven't done nothing to it. But anyhow, that's what mesquite wood looks like. Okay, my battery pack went dead when I was shooting that other segment there. And now we cut a piece here that's really, really thin. I wanted to see if the sawmill was going to cut a pretty even cut. Now we're going to let put this up here where you can see it. Hopefully you can see that right there. Let's see if I can see it. Okay. It's pretty thin and it's pretty even all the way from one end to the other. So that's a pretty thin, nice cut you got off of that whole new saw. Wow, pretty amazing. That's another nice little cut. Blade walking back on the side a little bit. Nice shiny mesquite. Texas mesquite. Now I'll do a little walk around on the sawmill. I've got some issues I'm going to have to address. This blade is walking just a little bit too much that way. So I'm going to need to adjust this a little bit more to get this right back on this pulley. And 
you look at this one, you see this blade is running back this way a little bit, just a sixteenth too much. So I'm going to have to make an adjustment there, and adjustment on the other side, and then I'll know where I need to be in my future adjustments. The belt, you know, folks, I can tell you what's happening right now. If you look at the distance between here and here on the other side, and you look right down here, you can see that this shaft has walked forward three-eighths of an inch from where I initially had it. That's why the belt is riding further out here. So it looks like we got some more tweaking to do. Uh, having hell keeping this shaft fixed with these right here. So what I may do is come back around here to the back side of it, which I've already done that. A spot welded that, so it's pretty much merely impossible that, that thing is sliding forward. But something is moving and it shouldn't. Either this moved or this moved. We'll fix it. But okay guys, that concludes today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We're just an old mom and pop channel out here trying to make it in this big YouTube world. We'll be sawing a bunch more wood. We'll put, be putting much much more videos out there. Um, you know how we're changing. We still haven't worked on the, the power lifting system out of the wheelchair motor. That'll come next year probably if, if I don't take it off and throw it away. But yeah guys, thumbs up, like, subscribe. See you in the next video.